guys, welcome back to One Mouse, One Dream. So happy Halloween. So I am filming this on Halloween. The video is gonna get posted tomorrow, but I just wanted to do a fun little video for, t well, Tuesday's upload. Because it's Halloween, I thought I'd share a little bit of our Halloween slash fall decorations throughout the house that we have. And of course, we got to dress up today for work. And of course, I went as many meals. And um, so I just thought I would show you guys my little ears, wore a polka dot shirt, wore my Mickey earrings, um, did a little nose, did a red, little red lip, but nothing crazy. Um, but had fun at work today dressing up, it was nice. Didn't really get many kids, but it was still fun to be able to dress up because you can't do that all the time at work. But anyways, I hope you guys like what I'm about to show you. Um, again, it's nothing crazy because we're still getting the house set up and everything here, but I just thought I'd share how I incorporate a little bit of Disney into our home decor as well as, you know, different seasons throughout the year. So I hope you all like it. Have a wonderful day. Hope you all had a great Halloween and I hope all the kids got lots of candy trick-or-treating. So talk to y'all soon. So this is just a little nook when you walk into our house and there's just a little bit of Disney on here, not too much, but just have a table with some pumpkins and some garland. And then you can see here, there's Mickey and Minnie. If you guys follow us on Instagram, you guys would have seen a picture that had that in. And down below is just some Halloween decorations, nothing Disney down below. But then over to the side, there is a little bit more Disney, and that's this Mickey vampire, which he's really cute. I like how he just stands up there on his own. So this is what you see when you first walk into our house. So again, just a little bit of Disney. Very nice and cozy. So we don't have many decorations in our downstairs guest bathroom, but I do have a little pumpkin with this frame that I created last year with two Mickey stickers that says fall. It's just on the top of our toilet seat cover right now, just because there's nothing on the walls. Um, so it adds a little bit of decoration into this room until we get some things on the walls. This next little table is right outside of our bathroom downstairs and on here the things that are Disney obviously there's this frame which we recently just bought then I also have my sugar skull that we got at Epcot two trips ago and then down below I have a little pumpkin that is Mickey shaped the trick-or-treat bucket it says trick-or-treat and I just have that sitting down below so just a cute little table with a little bit of Disney inspiration there as well as Disney inspiration down below. So this is just a table I have here in the living room and I made this little Mickey fall frame last year as well and I just think it looks really cute amongst the two vases that I have with the candle and then a picture from our wedding. And again, just a little bit of Disney goes a long way. And this is what the rest of the little table looks like. Nothing else Disney, but again, nice little touch of fall with some Disney magic in there. So this next section is just a little piece of our breakfast nook that's in the kitchen. And I just have a little bit of a centerpiece here with some floral stems, leaf stems, and other things for fall. But in front of it, I have my castle. I have a calendar, of course, with Mickey and Happy Halloween. And then we have our change jar back here, which I made. This is, you know, our Disney fund that we like to save up for. And then just to have a little wax burner in the back there that says Home Sweep Home. So it's just nice little touch of fall here in the corner with a bit of Disney. So this frame is in a corner section of our kitchen and this also is a frame that I made last year. I just have it sitting on a cake plate 
with two pumpkins in the front and just think it's cute. Again, just a little touch of Disney to, you know, make the decorations a little bit nicer. And these bowls are from Disney, um, but I keep those up year round. But over here, I do have the chalkboard that sometimes I like to write on there. I don't have anything on there now. I did have um, Happy Fall, but I started taking it off before I um, started making this video, so it's empty right now. Getting ready for the next holiday, and that's Christmas. Well, Thanksgiving first. And then the second to last area in our kitchen is on the opposite side, and I have this little ceramic Mickey tea light holder that we purchased back at the end of August. This frame is also Disney. You guys can see the castle there with all the little hidden Mickeys throughout the frame. And I purchased that at one of the outlets in the Lancaster area and just think it's a nice little touch of fall. And then this we keep up year round. It's a little cup that goes with that collection that we've been buying into. And then if you guys remember that lotus flower, I bought that at Epcot at the Japan Pavilion two trips ago. So again, just a nice little touch of Disney in this corner piece, this corner section of our kitchen. And then the last section of the kitchen is actually right in front of where I just spoke about earlier where we have our Disney savings jar, which is right there. Um, I have the Diamond Celebration frame that I purchased at the Character Warehouse here in the corner, as well as the Mickey vase that goes with that blue collection that we have been purchasing. And again, just a nice little touch of Disney, but nothing, you know, too outrageous. So this section, there's just one thing, which is over here. And I do have some fall decorations on this table, but nothing else that's Disney. But over here in the closet next to this table, I have a Mickey fall wreath that I made last year. And I just think it's nice there. It adds a little bit of color to this overall section that I have here in the dining room.